15 minutes of fame. Let's go. Yep. We live. You can lower me just a little bit, though. Please. Hi, Miss Chrissy B. Hey. How you doing? <laughs> Good. First and foremost, I want to welcome you to my show. Thank you. And I'm not used to having ladies, so I'm a little nervous. <laughs> All right? So All right. I'm not used to the R&B singing thing. Word. So. But um, tell me about yourself. How did you get started singing? How did I get started singing? Mm -hmm. Um, In the church choir. It's about, like, fifth grade. And I was real shy about it. And um, I don't know, just one day I was telling my mom that I wanted to join the choir. And she didn't believe me because, like I said, I well, I've always played basketball. So basketball has just always kind of been the forefront. Mm -hmm. But that's pretty much where it started. It started in the church, just joining the church choir. And then it led from church choir to, to the, the gospel choir at school to me being out to section leader mm -hmm. at Parkview Arts and Science Magnet High School in Little Rock, Arkansas. <laughs> Are you, so you're from the South? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Wow. That's crazy. Can you tell? A uh, little bit. You got a little <laughs> East Coast swag, Certain though. Words. You know, you ain't got that South swag. You got a little East Coast swag. Mm. But, um, you know, so you started at church. Like, like, was that, like, gospel? And, like, how did you get into the whole R&B? Because I listen to your records. They're very, you know, I don't hear no <laughs> Not church. Not churchy. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know. Oh, man. Um, I mean, I feel like everybody has a little a little that gospel roots in them. I think that's where most R&B artists start anyway is in the church. I mean, because that's where our roots come from, that the old Southern hymns yeah. and all that sort of stuff. So, um, I mean, it was just, to me, it was a natural progression. I mean, just hearing stuff on the radio, hearing the songs you like. And when I got my first keyboard in the fifth grade, I started, you know, trying to learn the songs that were on the radio, playing by ear. And then um, it led to me writing my own songs, to me recording myself, to, it just, it just kept going. It was a passion that just kept going. Wow. Now, you say you got a keyboard. You play instruments, too? Oh, uh, yeah. I play. I peck on the keys a little bit. Wow. Just the piano? <laughs> yeah, just the piano. That's that's nice. <laughs> nice to know. Yeah. Um, Now, you know, you being a female, mm -hmm. you know, just starting the industry, like, I always like to ask females, like, how, how was your upbringing? Because I know it's tough for ladies being in a male-dominated industry. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, how, how was it coming up for you, like, you know, you writing music and stuff like that? You, did you have, like, a hard time, you know, getting people to take you serious or, and stuff like that? Or... Um, I mean, definitely just being, um, you know, as, as an artist right now, not so much, but I think in the past when I was just trying to pursue, uh, being a producer, a female producer, definitely you're, you're underestimated, you know, um, they, it, it just takes them to hear your music and they're like, wow, like you really did yeah. that. And then it's like, yeah, you know, and then sometimes I still feel like even when I play them something, they still don't believe I did it. So, you know, to me, I may have to prove it right on the spot. Like, all right, pull it up. I'll make a beat right here. Like, it's nothing, yeah. you know? Now, the production, like, mm -hmm. it's, it's very scarce having a, a woman producer. Like, I mm -hmm. don't think there's too many out there. Like, how did you get involved with that? Like, <laughs> you, know? you know, I don't know. Like, to be honest with you, like, it's just, I think it was just all God-given talent. Like, it was just natural talent that I just kept. It was a passion inside of me that just kept progressing um like i said when i got my fifth grade I really i took um keyboard when i was in like the fifth grade but it was only for like a semester or like nine weeks the first uh i forgot what it was called back mm -hmm. in the day but like the first nine week period and i mean i took keyboarding but i really already knew how to play before i took that so i don't know i th think it was just i just think it was just a gift that god gave me and i just kept kept going with yeah. it now is that something that you Doing your performance, do you play um, keys while you performing, or you haven't really graduated to that yet? Uh, I ain't gonna lie to you, I, I, I tried. I'm, <laughs> I'm still working on that okay. one. Um, it's definitely something I would love to do. Um, I'm not like a Alicia Keys on the mm -hmm. on the piano, but I mean I can play chords. Um, but it's I don't know what I'm struggling with right now is when I'm trying to play at the same time and sing <laughs> and sing. Hard you work. Know? It's saying hard work. <laughs> no, so uh, I'm definitely, uh, I'm just trying to, I think right now I'm going to learn how to, try, I'm trying to learn how to play the guitar and stuff. So okay. I'm just trying to expand my yeah. artistry and, you know, see yeah. what see what, what comes up. Uh, now, you know, why ain't you a rapper? Everybody's a rapper. <laughs> like, I, I want to know, like, you know, you oh. got style. Like, why, you know, I mean, we talked about it, but like, why did you like really choose R&B? Like, what was it about singing that, that like made you gravitate towards that? Well, first of all, I'm mad corny when it comes to <laughs> trying to rap. So, 
<laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I got like two yeah. lines. Yo, my name Chrissy B. Some I don't know. Come holla at me. I just, yeah. I'm mad corny when it comes to rapping, but I don't know. I think just uh, songwriting was just I don't know. I just always been singing, yeah. but like I said, it's just you know I've I've been playing basketball all my life. So when I was playing basketball, that was in the forefront. Nobody really. Only people closest to me knew I did music, and it wasn't until I got to like college, like when I was at the University of Texas, they gave us MacBooks or whatever. So I started messing with GarageBand, kept recording my uh, songs and stuff like that. So I mean, I just even then I didn't really consider myself a singer. But when I got up here, that's when everybody was like, "Whoa, like you got a nice yeah. voice." She used to sing, and I was like, "Word." Now, what's the difference between like being down south and up here, like musically? Like, there's a lot of soul down there. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of jazzy stuff, you know, when I go down south. Like, what's the difference, like, really? Like, you know, why did you come up east, by the way, too? Like, was it just for the music? Um, the Mostly the music. Um, actually, when I came back from overseas, um, I had accepted a opportunity to um, go back to school, get my mm. school paid for at Rutgers, um, Newark. So I was coaching there. I was a graduate assistant. Okay. And... Um, you know, I accepted that opportunity because I feel like when I was overseas, like my heart just wasn't into playing basketball anymore. So that's when I, you know, just made the decision that, you know what, like I want to stop living my life for everybody else. Because I feel like at that moment, I felt a lot of pressure mm -hmm. to, to continue to play basketball because that's what pe everybody expected me to do. Because, you know, I was a McDonald's yeah. All-American. I went to, you know, Texas and the rest of blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, you know, that that was what everybody expected of me. But I was like, you know what, like I want to do music. Like, that's my passion. If you ask me, and everybody, nobody, anybody that's known me cannot deny that anytime you ask Crystal or Chrissy B, whatever, what she wanted to do when she grew up, I've always said I wanted to be a music producer. Wow. Um, do you write your own music? Or Absolutely. Mm, yeah. That's I write my big. own music. Um, I produce my own beats. I record myself. Everything? Mix my own records. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seriously? Yeah. I didn't even know that. And I, it sounded pretty good. Like, seriously, yeah. like, I mean, it sounded, it sounded very professional. Yeah. That's big. I mean, that one, that, that particular record on top, I did have somebody, like, he, yeah. I had him a good reference, and um, his name is uh, Philly. He went back over it and remixed it for me. Good shot to Philly, know, man. But. Um, now, influences. Mm -hmm. You know, who, who are some of your influences, like, coming up? Man, influences. Man, I got that so many. Um, we got time. <laughs> I definitely say uh, Alicia Keys. Um, I look up to her in the, in the aspect that, like you said, there's not a lot of females in the game that produce, write, mm -hmm. and sing their own music. So I definitely look up to her. Um, I love people like The Dream. Um, uh, what's his name? Um, ooh, Rico Love. Okay. Okay, yeah. Um, him, um, Piano Dude. Um, John Legend. John Legend, too, but um, no, no, no. Ryan Leslie, that's what I'm great. talking about. Yeah, so, you know, just a lot of multi-talented people. Like where it's that. just Yeah, it's a lot of multi-talented people. Um, and I respect the people that stick to what they do and they're good at it. You know what I'm saying? Like the Beyonce says, um, you know, um, let's see. There's so many people. Like, yeah. I'm just going through mad artists in my head, but Missy Elliott, just the list goes on and on. Now, like, you know, when you hear stuff like Missy stuff and, you know, Alicia Keys, like, it's two totally different artists, but yet you still be inspired by that. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, do you take from these artists and, and, and put it in your own music? Or, like, how do, how's the creative process go? Like, you know, what would be the first thing you do to beat, or, or do you write first? Um, You know, the first thing, I think what really connects with me, I think my biggest asset is just my creativity. You know what I'm saying? It's not necessarily my skills on the piano or, you know, it's, it's my creativity. Like, I just love creating, being creative. I can take... Um, I'm the person in the studio where, oh, somebody dropped their phone. I'm like, yo, we could use that sound. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I'm that person. Like, you know, yeah. it's just, it's it's weird. But I just, I just love it. That we'll be going through sounds and everybody in the studio will be like, yo, nah, I don't like that. I don't like, I'll be like, nah, we can use that. I like that. I'm going to find something with that. And Now, like, do you, like, sometimes feel like, you know, Especially in the studio, like with a lot of males, like do you, do you get shut out a lot with your opinions, or like do you, do you pretty much are you like that? Sh you know, nah, oh, like man, not really. Mm. Um, I mean, I'm very like strong minded, mm. so whenever I want something, like I go get it. So, um, you know, if you just want it your way, then I just all right. But I mean, I'll argue you down <laughs> until <laughs> eventually I get it my way. Yeah. But. 
Um, now I gotta tell you this. Um, I watched I watched the video, mm -hmm. and um, that's what we're gonna get to in a minute. But um, I, I like the fact that it wasn't like too appealing. Like you know, the record is called on top, mm -hmm. and like you know, exactly on top. <laughs> but it wasn't. It was tasteful. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. And then you came in here, and your style is totally different from the video. Yeah. So your style, like, where does it come <laughs> from? Like, you know, like. I don't know. I just like I just like being comfortable. I mean, at, at the end of the day, like I'm an athlete at heart. Mm. You know, we love just being laid back, being real chill. Um, I mean, you know, I feel like on top with that that video. I mean, I couldn't obviously I can't wear what yeah, you yeah, know yeah. wear what I have on now in a video mm. like that. So, I mean, I was in supposedly supposed to be in his shirt, you know, mm. in his dress shirt. So. Yeah. I mean, it's just a. The but concept. I mean, like you know, do you have uh, do you have like a struggle dealing with like the makeup side against the chill side, like? Um, you know? at, like honestly, like yeah, in the beginning, just the transition, just because you know, like you said, why am I not a rapper? I think initially, like when somebody meets me, they're like, oh, you know, when yeah. I tell them I do music, they're like, oh, what you you rap? And I'm like, uh, yeah, no, you know. Yeah. So it's like, um, I mean, I get that all the time, but I think at the end of the day, my my work will show. You know, and once people start to get to know me and who Chrissy B is, I think, you know, that will start to change. Now, who exactly are you? Do you even know? Absolutely. Yeah. People don't know. <laughs> That's why I ask. Like, yeah. you know, what's your goals? Like, what what do you want to accomplish with, with this music? Like, what's your ultimate goal? My ultimate goal, like, ultimate, ultimate goal is definitely I want to... Um, Dope expectation. <laughs> I definitely... What do you mean? What's my goal with the project Dope. or, like, my life goal? Oh, your life. My life goal, well, my life goal, I definitely want to have, um, like, I eventually want to have a foundation where I'm, like, giving back to, to kids, mm -hmm. have, you know, a rec recording studio of some sort where they come in, they record their records, and, you know, just basically teach them about the music industry um, and the entertain uh, sports world as well, just mm -hmm. entertainment, entertainment uh, in general. And my message, I just want to, you know, um, encourage kids or people in general to do what it is that you want to do, you know, yeah. and, and just not live your life, you know, for everybody else. Live your life for you, you know, because yeah. it's your life. Now, I was, I'm an East Coast dude. Mm -hmm. I'm from Jersey my whole life. Right. You know, your upbringing, like, down south, mm -hmm. you know, what, what was it like? I mean, was it different <laughs> from up here or? Um, yes and no. I mean, um, I mean, like, I was adopted um, growing that's, that's up. That's big. Yeah, so I was adopted growing up. Um, I lived with um, a different family other than my biological family. Um, I have a younger brother. I have, so I have, like, two sets of siblings. You know, I have my biological siblings, which I have a younger sister, Carla mm -hmm. Johnson, and then my little brother, Edmund Crutcher. And then I got, um, you know, my other side of my um, family, which I'm, like, the middle child yeah. with them. <laughs> um, it's Corey. You know, she's out in L.A. And uh, Larry, who's in Dallas. So, I mean... Now, I'm like, uh, do they support you what you do or? Um, absolutely. Mm. I mean, at first, I think it was like a, a shocker to. Well, I don't want to say it was a shocker to them because, like I said, they've always known I've I've done music. I send them records all the time. Like, hey, what do you think? Especially yeah. my sister, she is just like overwhelmed with all yeah. the stuff I used to say. I used to call her all day. Did you listen to my beat first thing? Oh, well, hello. Did you listen to my beat? Like, <laughs> it was like yeah. she couldn't breathe. That's crazy. <laughs> um, now you're gonna drop an EP. Mm -hmm. I always like to ask artists, why EP? Dope expectations, by the way. Mm -hmm. Why EP instead of an LP? Like, why why do like an EP instead of a full length album? Um, well, I just chose um, seven songs because I have a lot of songs, mm -hmm. you know. And um, cause like I said, this is not something I just started. You know, it's just something I'm just now choosing to put out. Um, I chose the EP just because I wanted to just give a little snippet, you know. Give, give you seven songs, seven good songs, and call it a day. Yes. Eight. We back. I can't even get hype. I want to. It's like real. <laughs> I like that. I mean, it's not like my normal thing. So, um, now, as I was reading your bio, mm -hmm. you that you call yourself the um R and B's best kept secret. Right. What does that mean? Why are you the best kept secret? Because I mean, like, I'm the best kept secret. Mm. You know, it's like nobody. Like, I can't say nobody knows about me, but. Nobody knows about mm -hmm. me just yet, but I think you know slowly I'm gonna start to creep up, and then it's just, bam, secrets mm -hmm. out. 
Um, now, how often, like, do you write music and record music? Like, how often are you in the studio? Like, is this, like, your job, or do you do other things, like? Um, I do other things. I mean, I do a little training on the yeah. side. I mean, I do a whole bunch of different stuff. Yeah. Just hustle, you yeah. know. Just try to. Now, but how often are you in the studio? Like, how often do you write records? I mean, I'm in the studio often. I mean, I have my own studio in my house, so I mean, I got, I'm in there all the time. Mm. Uh, really, I mean, just because I write, produce, and sing my own stuff, I hadn't really. Um, I don't really. I save a lot of money by having to go yeah. to, to the recording studios. But um, I think in learn in doing this EP and learning. Um, going through the industry um i'm definitely looking forward to go to more more, more studios and yeah. work with other artists and things like that so. yeah um now the ep dope expectations mm -hmm. what are your expectations for this project like what do you want to accomplish with these seven songs that you're putting out i just want to spread the word you know give give people you know introduce the world to christy b um you know like you said it's an ep mm -hmm. you know i didn't i'm not it's not it's not a whole like album a lp or whatever mm -hmm. um so uh, it's just my introduction to the world, like, you know, everybody. More so, I have my friends and family in mind, um, really in mind, close to my heart, just because everybody is all, they've always, like I said, they've always known that I've done music in the background. So now it's just kind of like switching it around, like, you know, basketball, I'm yeah. pretty much putting that down, threw the shoes away, you know. Now I'm doing, you know, straight up mm -hmm. music. Now, the EP. Mm -hmm iTunes, that piff, you giving it away. What like what are we working on? Are we doing are we doing an iTunes thing? Uh yes, absolutely. It's okay. on iTunes. Um it's like like big basically eight dollars. Okay. It's like ninety nine cent of records. Mm -hmm. Um it's on it's gonna be on C D baby, on Amazon. I mean it's gonna be everywhere. So mm -hmm. it's already out. Um so it's already out? Yeah, it came out. I released <clears throat> it on January eighteenth. Oh, so fairly new. Yeah. Uh, how's it doing? I mean, has he how you received? I mean, yeah, I've had some some a few okay. downloads. I mean, it's still we're still promoting it, still going, still going crazy. Okay. Um, now the video, the on top video, I wanted to point out too. You got about, I think it was about like 30, uh, 35,000 views or something like that. Is yeah. it sound like legit? Uh, right down. But you got yeah. seventy, you got seventy <laughs> likes and no dislikes. Yeah. <laughs> I found I find that weird. Like, did you pay these people to like no, that? Like, you know, not. why is there no dislikes? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, to be honest with you, like, even when I was making the record, like when I let people hear the record, and I'm like a hard critic. Like mm -hmm. anybody that's known me, like my manager, like everybody stays on me because I'm like the hardest critic, and I'm just like mm, I don't like that. You know, I'm just waiting for somebody to say I don't like it. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, but. I don't know, like everybody's liked it so far. As as weird as it is, I just you know. Mm. Shout your manager in the building. <laughs> huh? You know what I'm saying? I said shout out to your oh, manager. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And your friend. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just find that funny. Like you know, a lot of people that must mean something that you know they like the yeah. record. I mean, you know, no dislikes, especially in the hate. This is the hater age. You exactly. know what I mean? So for for that to happen, I think that's, that's what great. I was expecting. I yeah. was expecting for a little bit of you know haterism, but I just I haven't really been receiving any, and I mean that's. To me, that's a good thing. Even when um, I think we sent the record out to a, to a review, uh, a Reverb mm -hmm. Nation, um, you know, for all the up and coming artists, yeah. I think that's definitely a good tool to to use. Um, but we sent it out for uh, reviews, and all I got back was like good good reviews. Wow. Um, I had some people that it wasn't necessarily they didn't like the record; it was just that it wasn't necessarily their cup of tea. Like yeah. they they probably didn't like R and B or something like that. But overall, they felt like it was still a good strong yeah. radio record. Um. Now, now, like, I noticed, like, in the comment section, too, like, you done touched a couple people. They're, like, in love with your music. They mm -hmm. want to hear more. Like, you know, now, are you going to have other videos? Oh, yeah. Stuff? Um, I'm definitely uh, reing up. I'm trying to get um, ready to shoot another video um, with my next single. Um, so that's going to, I think I'm shooting around for uh, February or March with that one. Do we have an idea what it is? or? Uh, yeah, it's going to be middle. Okay. Uh, which is, like, my... I say that that's definitely like one of my favorite records on the um, okay. on the project, but it's it's pretty dope. So we playing with some concepts with that one. Um, I don't know, just in doing like a couple of interviews, uh, they was like, um, you know, I, I guess that's what people are gonna expect from me all the time yeah. in videos and things like that. But I mean, I definitely want to uh, push the creativity. Nah, I, I think so. that you could. I think you could <laughs> definitely change like what the normal R and B, mm -hmm. you know, like I said with your style. Like yeah. I think you could make something happen. <laughs> um, now. You know, the, with the whole EP situation, like, are you trying to, like, are you trying to get signed with this? Like, are you trying to be independent? Like, 
for anybody out there listening, maybe they're looking for army singers. Like, um, I'm trying to. I'm, I mean, if anything, I'm definitely looking for sponsors. Mm-hmm. You know, um, sponsorship. <laughs> Love it. But I mean, um, you know, that's not to say that I wouldn't consider going, you know, uh, major. Um, definitely, that's a whole nother wagon behind mm. it, you know. So, um, I mean, it's just, like I said, it's just, it depends on what the situation is. You know, I'm going to look, I'm going to consider any and every situation. And if I feel like it's a good situation for me, then definitely. What's up? Yeah. Now, the name Chrissy B, like, mm-hmm. that's your real name? Uh, or is that made my up? My government, uh, well... Crystal boy, yeah. but everybody called me. I didn't me. say give your name out. Oh, well, I'm just, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um, you know, like, why did you decide to go with something like that as like, you know, a name that really wasn't mm-hmm. yours? Like, um, the reason I decided is because a is Crystal. Like the, the the names people call me like Crystal. I know there's a girl already using that mm-hmm. Crystal, the songwriter. Um, so I was like, I don't want to use that. And then I really didn't want to go with Chris. I was like, because Chris, you know, I play basketball. That's yeah. just like the last name I need. So I was like, I need someone with a little feminine touch to it. So yeah. I just chose Chrissy B. You know, now, so. now, your music, how much of your music is a reflection of you, though? Like, is, like, you know, do you, I mean, all is of everything it. like real life situations that you absolutely. write or absolutely. all of it? Yeah, all of it. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, I mean, I didn't, did some things, you know. Mm. Uh, <laughs> You know, relationships. I mean, all of it's real. It's legit. I mean, whether it's real for me, real for you, real for whoever. I mean, yeah. when, you're, when you're a songwriter, that's the thing. You know, you take from your life as well as everybody else's lives. You know, you want people to be able to relate to your music. So Yeah. Now, how important are your fans? Oh, I mean, what? Very. Mm. <laughs> I mean, without my fans, there would not be a me. So there would be no point in me continuing to do this. What was, what was, do you have any crazy fan stories? Do I have any crazy fans? Fan stories. Any crazy fan stories? Mm. Nobody ever chased after your car, or nothing um, like that. No, not yeah. I just, just more so, just crazy messages like, you know, <laughs> oh, you so sexy, you know. I seen, I seen <laughs> some on the comments over yeah, there. Yeah, something so. like that. So I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's about it. Now we're gonna get into the to the on top video. Mm-hmm. I um shot by Denny Secret Society. Yep. You know. The whole video, you know, was shot here, by the way. Mm-hmm. You know, how, how, like, you know, how did the video come about? Like, you know, was it, did you have input in it or as an artist or was it like, you know, his ideas? Like, yeah. Um, well, it was like a, a more of a collab. Well, he had a, another, um, um, what is it, a pitch mm-hmm. or whatever uh, for a video I did. And, like, I was, it was cool. It was a cool idea too. But then I think I called him and I was like, oh, I want to do something like this. I was, you know, my friend, um, my friend that was in the video um, that was dancing or whatever, I was like, yeah, I just want someone with, like, some strippers or something in there. Yeah. I, was like, I think I would, like, well, she's not even a stripper. She's, mm-hmm. like, a pole fitness instructor, instructor, which is different. Yeah, yeah, that's very <laughs> different. So, um, <laughs> you know, so I, I pretty much shot him the idea about the whole thing, and he just put piece it together yeah. to make it real smooth, and I thought he did a, a great job with that. Now, what was it about that record that made you want to make that the first single, like, was it just feeling or um i mean the fact that i'm an up-and-coming artist i think you know with my background and keeping in mind like i said that i'm trying to transition from the sports world into you know r&b i think rap for me would have been an easy transition Mm -hmm. you know because that would have been expected so i don't think it would have been as big of a bang but the fact that i'm going into r&b i think i just needed something just to shock them Okay, that's what's yeah. up. So, um, now you know I, I haven't really heard the rest of the EP. I mm-hmm. promise you, I'm gonna go buy it just because I buy <laughs> everything. Whoever supports me, I support yeah, go them do back. That. Um, now the rest of the of the album though, mm-hmm. like, is it slow like this, or is this some up tempo records? Like, you know, what oh. kind of R and B is it? Is it like like what we just heard, or I got some. Um, it's more like mid tempo. Mm-hmm. Um. I think on, on top is actually the slowest song on there, and uh, maybe Sweet Pea. Um, other than those two, I think everything else is like a tad bit faster. Um, mm-hmm. It has like different elements in it of where I'm like, I guess that singing rap stuff, mm-hmm. uh, something like that. Um, dope, dope is pretty much like it's pretty up tempo, but mm-hmm. it's like girl tempo. Okay. Like, yeah. Like, I don't know. I don't get know you, how to get your two step on. Yeah, yeah <laughs> it's like. On some almost on like some diva type stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like where you just 
up in it. I don't know. You, you don't remind yourself. me of a diva, though. <laughs> you, you seem like I you mean, pretty down to earth. Moments. You know, you have your, I feel like every female has their, their moments okay. where it's just like you're just like straight diva mode, like mm-hmm. straight brat mode. Like, okay. that's, I get like that a lot. So. <laughs> Yo, you gonna are you gonna like make like your your manager take the skittles and put the red ones and the green ones? Yo, or? you wanna know? She do it, right? I do. do. <laughs> Upper <laughs> management. <laughs> no. <laughs> nah, but um, how has like experiences with other artists been? Cause I, I've been met some bad people, but I meet some good people. Like mm-hmm. you know, what what has your you know you, you've been like meeting people? Like how has it been like with your music? Oh, it's been cool. I mean, like, I mean, I don't know. I'm not shy at all in the term, in the sense of, like, meeting people. Like, I'm the person where the first time you meet me, you'll go and stick your hand out to me and I'll give you a hug. Yeah. Like, that's that's the type of person I am because I'm just used to being mm. in front of people. I mean, I'm, like I said, I went to the University of Texas, so we played in front of eight and 9,000 fans, you know, so it's it different. Now, you know, that big crowd against the small crowd, mm-hmm. you know, is there a difference? Like, do you do you get nervous? Um, I think you all, I only really get nervous if I feel unprepared. Mm. You know, so I mean to say that I'm like nervous. You don't like I said. You only nervous when you're unprepared. Like you get nervous when you don't know the play. You, you yeah. know what I mean? So <laughs> that's different. I don't know. No, not really. Now you know you say that funny. Like do you, now remember you know you gotta memorize your your, your, your stuff. Like mm-hmm. do you have a trouble doing that or are you pretty good with that? No, um, rehearsing there has when I'm in, uh, like, when my vocal, when my vocal coach was going on my performance, like, I was like, dang, I thought I knew the lyrics, but then I was figuring out, like, oh, wait, wait, you know, I messed up, I forgot <laughs> something. But, um, no, just, like I said, you keep practicing, you keep rehearsing, and, um, you'll get it down. Yeah. Now, are you interested in producing for other artists and stuff like that, writing and Absolutely. You, you ghost write? I don't know about ghost. Uh, I mean, if I have to, yeah. Okay. I mean, well, not if I have to, but yeah. you know, if the opportunity comes, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. Now, do you just do R and B uh, beats and hooks, or you no. going to get you do hip hop beats too? Yeah, I do hip hop. Um, wow. It's not more. It's not now. It's not that trap music. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? Like the the that type of music. It's more like like really. I like more old school hip hop, like the Nas era. You know, more more like that that R and B touch mm-hmm. with it. You know, Thank like you. that's that's what I like. You know, that's the type of hip hop I like. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I I'll still be in there and I will jam to the to the trap music and Two stuff like chains. that. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. But um, you know, that's just not the music that comes natural natural right. to me. But I definitely collab with people who make that. Type now, what's it gonna take for you to be great, though? I mean, mm-hmm. you know, what what is great to you? Like, what what do you consider great? Great is when you are you know one of the leaders of your whatever it is that you're trying to do. Like when People think of, you know, when they think of R and B singers, first person that comes to mind is probably Beyonce. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you think of one of the leading female. That's greatness. You know what I'm saying? When you think of, uh, you know, a great female piano player, one of the pre- persons people that's gonna come to mind is definitely Alicia Keys. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's to me, uh, that's considered greatness or a leader. And what it is that you do. Now, you know, you named two very good performers, mm-hmm. people who work very hard. Absolutely. Like, how much time do you really spend on your craft? Like, vocal coaches you're talking about, mm-hmm. you're talking about writing, producing. Like, how much time really gets spent on music every day? And so <laughs> much time. Like, I barely get sleep sometimes. Like, um, I did, but even in the midst of that, I still think I can go harder. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm definitely trying to, you know, I, trying to free up my schedule some, you know, so I can do more of this. Yep. Oh, so I want everything. you to sing for me right now. <laughs> okay. Go right now. All right. No problem. All right. So, so right here is my, uh, my dope intro. Let me, right, let me so. get a snap right here. Black. Uh, uh, check. Here we go. Uh, you have no idea what you do to me. Uh, Baby, you have no idea how you make me feel. Check it. Cause this shit is so dope. I know you're feeling it, yeah. Uh, don't be lying to yourself. Cause baby, I'm, uh, baby, I'm dope. Baby, I'm dope, dope, uh, yeah. Baby, I'm dope. I know I'm dope. Baby, I'm dope, baby, I'm dope, dope, yeah. I'm so dope. Your love is dope, baby. Mm. Tag. And it feels like this is real love. Your love is dope, baby. Ooh. And it feels like this is real love. Your love is dope, baby. Ooh, yeah, it feels like this is real love. Ooh, 
I'm gonna give you everything. Give you that dope. You'll be so addicted, baby. Cause this here is dope. Expecting nothing less from you. Give you that dope, baby. Ooh. Yeah, and then that's pretty much. Damn. I mean, that's just a little you shot. Know that, shit was, that shit was dope. <laughs> That shit was dope. Thanks. <laughs> um, yo, I, I'm impressed. Really? I gotta admit, <laughs> I'm impressed because a lot of people come in here. Shout to that James. <laughs> yo, um, I, you know, I um, I, I, I don't. People, they don't. They come in, they don't sing. I don't, don't have sing. a lot of people. <laughs> I have like maybe three. You know, R&B artists. You know why they don't sing? Well, auto tune. Yes. <laughs> Yes, no auto tune. I mean, it's cool to have a little bit. Pitch correction is yes. different. It's cool to have a little bit, but your tone is good. Thanks, thanks. You know, thanks. And these ain't the best mics, and it sounded good in my head. Yeah. So I know it sounded good out there. Um, real quick, underscore Chrissy B. That's C R I S S I E B. Um, Twitter, Instagram, all that. Yep. Follow her and tell her that I sent you too. And <laughs> dope expectations. Dope expectations on it's the, iTunes. It's the EP. Thank you for coming. Yeah, thanks for inviting me. And uh, we're going to go out with the record, the video, everything. Like, we're going to play everything. Cool. All right. All right, download so, that. Yeah, dope expectations, <laughs> Chrissy's B, man. Thank you so much. Let's go. I'm in a good mood now. <laughs> Let's go, though. 15MOFE.com. We out.